it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I'm coming at you with another single sunscreen review. This time I'm talking about Aveen Mineral Multi-Defense Sunscreen. I'm going on a roll with these mineral sunscreens. I wasn't actually planning on reviewing this sunscreen, but it actually really surprised me when I started testing it out. I was like, I have to make this a full video. So if you're so ready to find out all my thoughts about this sunscreen, give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. So sunscreen filters, we have 12% of zinc oxide. This is only using zinc to get the, um, the job done, so to speak. It's not using that mixture of zinc and titanium, which I think is a-okay. I've said this in other videos. Zinc really is one of the like broadest range, most stable sunscreen agents out there covering UVB, UVA 1 and 2. It's a really good sunscreen filter. Another feature of this sunscreen is that it does not contain any artificial fragrance, essential oils, or drying alcohol. Of course not. You know me by now because if it did, it would not have got on this mug, right? Um, those ingredients do irritate my sensitive skin, so I do like to point out when products do not contain those things. And I think especially when it comes to like European brands, especially the pharmacy and drugstore brands, when it comes to sunscreen, you know, you're running into denatured alcohol a lot in those formulas. Not always, but you know, yeah, it can be a mixed bag for sure. So I was really Really excited to see it did not contain especially denatured alcohol which plays a great role actually in sunscreen it helps the sunscreen absorb and dry down on your skin kind of helps the sunscreen not sit on top of your skin it's actually great in sunscreen formulations if you're not sensitive to them like I am. And I know many of you watching um, probably do experience some issues with drying alcohol too. So definitely a big bonus, no drying alcohol in here and no fragrances. Now, when it comes to sunscreen ingredient lists, that's about where I stop. Um, that's all I'm really looking for. Anything else is really in my mind just considered a bonus, but I will point out that this has been specifically formulated with antioxidants. And the reasoning behind that is, as you know, antioxidants actually help protect your skin against UV damage. Um, so it is actually a really nice pair along sunscreen agents. Let's talk about texture. And this is what I would classify as like a milk sunscreen because it's not that kind of creamy, kind of stiffer texture. This is definitely very uh, liquidy, a little bit runny, and it definitely reminds you of like milk. And I actually really do enjoy uh, that milk consistency, especially when it comes to mineral sunscreens, because I do find the application process to be be a lot easier and a lot more convenient because I find with more traditional cream mineral sunscreens, you really find yourself really working it into your skin. I think a lot of that comes down to the white cast that comes with mineral sunscreens because you can see all the white streaks. So you really have to like really rub it into your skin. I say you got to get some elbow grease <laughs> to get it in there. And I find that kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't want to be like rubbing and tugging at my skin all morning long, right? So um, I do find that this liquidy uh, consistency actually just like melts into your skin a lot better. It kind of like absorbs in and evenly distributes across the skin a lot better than a cream. That's just my opinion. Um, and that's what this texture really delivered for me. Um, I feel like it really, it really does perform as far as like easy application. The spread is great. You don't really have to work it in because it's not getting super streaky on your skin. It just kind of like melts in. It's got like an emollient, slightly moisturizing feel, but it's not heavy. True to that kind of like thinner liquidy texture. This does not sit heavy on your skin or even sit on top of it. It just sort of melts in with a little bit of moisture on the top, but actually in a very light breathable layer. Um, this felt really, really nice. And I don't feel like with that little bit of moisture and that little bit of emolliency, I didn't feel that it was like contributing to like a greasy look or feel on my skin. I really do feel like the finish of this was quite neutral. It didn't mattify my skin, but it didn't add any due to it. So I really like just like how this performed. Now in terms of white cast, which we're all like waiting for, right? Like does it have a heavy white cast? And it really doesn't. 
I was surprised. I was like, did I put enough on? <laughs> I am like very much known for putting a little bit too much sunscreen on. I'm very generous with my application. So we probably know that that wasn't the case, but I was actually surprised that the white cast on this was very minimal. If you really scrutinize it, you can see it on my face, but it didn't have that like really ghostly look, that really heavy white cast. Um, it actually looked pretty nice on bare skin. Now, of course, as you're more blessed with melanin, this is going to become a little bit more obvious on your skin tone. They do actually have a tinted version of this that kind of helps to um, minimize the, the white cast or maybe even that kind of like purpley sort of gray cast that can show up on darker skin tones with mineral sunscreen. So that could be an option um, if you're liking how everything is sounding so far, but you're concerned about the white cast, check out the tinted version. On my skin tone, I don't feel like I needed the tinted version. Um, so I think like, yeah, if you're a little bit more medium and then a little bit lighter, I think it will work actually really nicely for you. Another thing I always clock mineral sunscreens for is how clumpy it gets. Does it like kind of build up in my eyebrows or along my hairline? This does not. Thank you. <laughs> this does not. Like I mentioned, I'm kind of a generous supplier when it comes to sunscreen, which is fine with chemical sunscreens that will um, absorb and dry clear on the skin. But when I like generously apply mineral sunscreens, I'm always getting build up in my eyebrows and it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Because it looks like I don't know how to apply sunscreen. I do. I just put so much on and then it'll build up on my eyebrows. So I would classify this as like dark hair friendly and beard friendly because it really does. I can't say it enough. It really just melts into the skin. So let me share with you my experience with this sunscreen and why I really actually wanted to make this video. You know, uh, summer is here, right? And um, that means really warm weather. Where I live, it actually gets quite humid. And that's like, as soon as I step outside, I start sweating. And sweat and sunscreen, not a good mix, right? Um, not only can it look terrible um, when you sweat and it like starts to pull your sunscreen up and you have like all this like white like sweat bubbles on your face. It's happened to me. It's embarrassing. Um, not only that, but as you probably know, a lot of uh, sweat is going to actually interrupt the coverage of your sunscreen. It's going to break up that, that protective film on your skin, and you're probably getting some coverage from the sun, some protection, but it's going to be uneven. Um, so you're just not going to be getting what you thought you were going to get, right? So um, when it comes to summertime, I really do like to have a stash of water-resistant sunscreens on hand, and they definitely do exist in the K-beauty and the Asian beauty world, but I just haven't found really good um, sweat-resistant sunscreens in that world that don't have drying alcohol, that don't have essential oils, that don't have artificial fragrance, that don't irritate my skin, right? Like, it's complicated. So just for me personally, I haven't found that in the K-beauty world. The other nine months of the year, that's where I'm going, but in the summertime, I am looking for um, a little bit more of that, like, sweat-resistant type of sunscreen. So that's why I wanted to try this one out, and I've been on kind of like a mineral sunscreen kick. And this does claim to be water resistant up to 40 minutes. And I have also found that like most mineral formulations do tend to be a little bit, they tend to hold up to sweat a little bit better. That's just been my experience. So that was kind of the first thing I wanted to try this out for. And I was actually pretty impressed with how this stood up to um, the heat. We had a heat wave when I was testing this out, the first one of the season. And this stood up to nearly 90 degree, quite humid um, weather. And I was, um, out and about running errands in and out of the car quite a bit. I was very warm. I was, uh, I had that sticky humidity on my skin and this uh, stayed put really, really nicely. I also used this a few times during some really sweaty workouts and I was really surprised to not get that sunscreen sweat bubble <laughs> kind of um, thing on my face. Uh, this actually stayed put really nicely. So on the sweat resistance, I was very, very happy with this. Makeup wise, I was very, very happy with this. I was actually really surprised. And this actually kind of like um, goes with the like sweat resistance too, because when I was wearing this and I was running a ton of errands in that heat wave, I was wearing some base makeup on top of it. And surprisingly, my makeup did not break up with this sunscreen. And that happens sometimes, right? Especially with more emollient sunscreens, it can kind of like 
make your makeup like not last as long or make it like uh, definitely a little bit more greasy or something or slip and slide on your face this did not this didn't interrupt the coverage of my makeup at all uh, i was actually really impressed with this now one issue i run into with every single mineral sunscreen i've ever tried <laughs> it's what i call the drying factor mineral um, sunscreen agents do tend to dry out my skin they do have sebum controlling properties so it makes sense if you're oily it's great for you but if you're a little bit more on the dry side it can take a lot of that like necessary moisture from your skin leaving your skin feeling very dry and tight maybe even dehydrated and that's what happens with my skin I do have combination skin but it's quite imbalanced and it was very imbalanced when I was testing this out uh, t-zone is oily um, that's been like no big issue too much lately but my u-zone has been like incredibly dry especially around my mouth and my skin was pretty uncomfortable actually when I was testing this out which could have spelt to disaster honestly to put mineral sunscreen on top of an area that's already feeling dry and tight but I was like hey this is going to be a good test for this sunscreen and surprisingly it did not like make that dryness worse I do feel that there is a dryness to this sunscreen but I just don't think that it's that bad and it's honestly a trade-off that like I'm kind of willing to make for that sweat resistance for that lack of white cast and for just the way that it's not greasy or heavy on my skin so what I found that works for me with this sunscreen is to put a heavier moisturizer on underneath it now this is really only going to apply to those of you who have the same issue as me mineral sunscreen feeling kind of dry I just find like a thicker layer of cream especially just like in my U zone which is like quite dry that just kind of helps to prep my skin for the sunscreen after I take my makeup and sunscreen off for the night I will just do a little bit of extra pampering a little extra moisture on my skin afterwards and I'm good you know what I mean it's pretty comfortable um, for me I can't get away from a little bit of that dry and tight feeling but as I mentioned for the sweat resistance especially in the summertime and kind of that peace of mind that like my sunscreen's not getting terribly interrupted by sweat um, you know like I've got a little bit of time before I have to reapply that peace of mind that trade-off to me is worth a little extra moisturizing skincare before and after application so just to recap the pros of this sunscreen it's got a really nice Nice, elegant texture that I think is very easy to apply to the skin like no elbow grease required I love that this texture doesn't like clump up around dark hair I think this will be beard friendly and I do find the white cast to be very very minimal on my skin tone I do think that it's a bonus that this formula does come in a tinted version which may be something you want to look at if you are more blessed with melanin than I am I love the sweat resistance on this I think that this holds up to a hot summer day really really nicely and I love that this did not interfere with makeup um, this did not make it slip and slide it did not make me more greasy it did not sit on top of my skin um, I felt really confident wearing this out in public and not thinking that my sunscreen was doing weird things on my face I did find the reapplication to be like easy peasy no pilling um, I also found that this did not cling to any dry patches on my skin and I definitely had some <laughs> when I was heavily tested this and it did not um, uh, cling to that or make them appear any worse than they were which I think was a huge 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 bonus I think with most mineral sunscreens when you reapply it the white cast is gonna build a little bit upon itself but honestly like I'm at peace with the white cast on this one I think it's it's pretty good now cons definitely the drying factor I mean you know if you're sensitive to mineral sunscreen drying your skin out it's really difficult to get away from that you probably know the struggle is if, if you're somebody who has the same issue um, but I will say in my experience it just didn't really bug me all that much um, like I said a little bit of extra moisturizing before and after seemed to do the trick and it didn't like make my dryness any worse so it is definitely a con um, I definitely want to bring it up but in my experience it wasn't a deal breaker you know what I'm saying now something else I forgot to bring up uh, towards the beginning of the video because I got so excited with everything else but it's really important and it's definitely a con with this sunscreen it does have a smell now as we mentioned this does not have any fragrances or essential oils in it but it does have a smell and when it comes to unscented skincare sometimes you are going to get like those weird raw skincare smells and this is not a sunscreen smell it's it's not that the official scent of summer in my opinion it's not a sunscreen smell it's kind of like it's 
kind of nasty, honestly. Um, it is something that might make you think you got a bad batch. You didn't. There is a little bit of an odd smell here. Um, but the good news is it goes away immediately. Um, it's noticeable. Um, I wasn't even like like clocking this for a smell. I wasn't like really getting my nose up in there like for testing reasons. It's just on the first application, I was like, what's that smell? It smells weird. Um, but it went away immediately. So it's noticeable. It's there, but it goes away. It doesn't hang around. You don't smell it lingering throughout the day. You yourself are not going to smell weird for wearing this sunscreen. So my personal rating on this Avene Mineral Multi-Defense Sunscreen is... 9.5 out of 10. I did not believe I would ever give a mineral sunscreen such a high score, but I'm actually really, really liking this. And as the temperatures are staying consistently hot and humid, I've been reaching for this a lot. And like I said, it's just that peace of mind with that sweat resistance that um, I'm getting the coverage that I want to get with my sunscreen. So I'm curious, have you tried this sunscreen or um, any other sunscreens from Avene? Let me know in the comment box below. Let me know your opinions. If this review helped you out, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, especially if you love skincare because I do release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one throughout the week. You may consider also turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop when the new videos drop throughout the week. I really hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. I can't wait to see you in the next video and I love you so much. Bye.